What's up, Shala Heads? Today, I got something delicious for you. We're cooking coconut curry, chicken soup. Check it out. This recipe features lots of aromatics, fresh vegetables, peppers, and our Shala Florida citrus flavor base. The full recipe will be listed in the description. Let's get started by seasoning six boneless, skinless chicken thighs with our Shala garlic pepper seasoning. You can think of our garlic pepper seasoning as an all-purpose seasoned salt, but if you don't have that on hand, use your preferred all-purpose seasoning. Make sure you season the thighs evenly on both sides. Now we're gonna go in with a half a stick of butter and a heavy bottom pan. Here I'm using a Dutch oven. We'll get our chicken thighs down and we're gonna cook these on both sides for about five minutes till you get a nice crust and some great flavors forming in the pan. If you've never heard of Shala, Shala is basically a cooking system and a flavor base that gives rich and bold flavor and consistency with all types of recipes. Grab you a bottle and start experimenting in the kitchen. Once our chicken is in a good place, we're gonna store that in a bowl, let it rest. Make sure you capture all the juice that renders out of the chicken. Now we're gonna go in with our onions, peppers, garlic, ginger, cherry tomatoes, and cilantro. Now you'll know if you like cilantro or not by now. If you don't like cilantro, feel free to choose another herb that you prefer. If you love Thai food, you're going to love this recipe. With the coconuts and the curry and the cilantro coming through, it has a very Thai vibe to it. We're gonna saute these into the butter until your onions begin to turn translucent. And we're also going to add two tablespoons of a curry powder at this time. You're gonna cook this up for about five minutes to let those flavors develop. Once your vegetables reach your desired texture, now it's time to deglaze the pot and we're gonna do that with some chicken stock. Then we'll go in with our coconut milk, shala flavor base, and lime juice. Now we're gonna stir and let this simmer for a few minutes to let the flavors continue to develop. We'll also add in some diced tomatoes, sugar snap peas, as well as butternut squash. Now at this point, the vegetables that you see me adding are totally optional. Choose ones that you prefer and that you like. You could swap out the butternut squash for potatoes. You can swap out the snap peas with kale or another vegetable or any other types of pea or bean. At this point, you're going to chop up the chicken that's been resting in your bowl. Make sure to save all the juice and we're gonna add this back to the pot. And now we're just gonna let it simmer low and slow until the vegetables reach the desired texture. Once your butternut squash and your peas are at your desired texture, the soup is done and it's ready to serve. You'll notice with most of our recipes, when you start to swap out and change ingredients, you can create so many recipes from one base. So take this recipe for instance. If you swap out the curry powder and the coconut milk with another spice base or something like heavy cream, you have a totally different recipe that's gonna be delicious. If you like this recipe, please subscribe to our channel, Shala Foods. Check us out online at www.shalafoods.com. We have tons of recipes to try, lots of flavor bases as well as seasonings. Thanks again for checking us out, and whatever you do, don't forget to put your spin on it.